We live in a nation today where everybody claims to believe in God. A very small percentage, I think it's even less than 1% of people who actually believe God doesn't exist. But most of the people believe in the existence of God. And some people believe that that is the kind of faith that is going to give them salvation. But it's so important to understand that the Bible says that demons believe and tremble. The kind of faith we are talking about as Christians that brings salvation and brings healing and brings change in our life is not a mental agreement in the existence of God and in the existence of the historic fact that Jesus was born, lived, died and rose from the dead. A mental agreement with a historical fact is not going to change your life. Demons have a mental agreement in their mind that God is real, He created the earth, that Jesus is His Son, and that's it. But this kind of a faith that they have in their brains is not affecting their relationship with God and it's not doing anything to them. And the Bible calls this faith in James chapter 2 a dead faith or a demon faith. Doesn't necessarily mean that if you believe in the existence of God, you have a demon faith. It just simply means that if you only believe that God exists, your faith is no other than the faith that the demons have. We see Jesus coming into the synagogue and the first people who got up and said, you are the Messiah, were not prophets and priests and scribes and Pharisees, they were demons. Demons were the first to acknowledge that Jesus was the Messiah, yet this faith they had that Jesus is the Messiah is not going to improve their lifestyle. Demons are still demons. They're still going to hell and they still are really bad. Why they're really bad? Because inside their heart is sick. Their heart is following their own desires and wishes and lusts. I really want to challenge each one of us today. They're mentally agreeing that God is real. It's not enough to change your life. Mentally agreeing that Jesus came 2,000 years ago and Mary was his mother, it's not enough for you to experience a change in your life. This faith is a good place to start with, but this faith has to drop into your heart. And the Bible says, with heart men believe and with mouth confession is made unto righteousness. It's so important. This may not seem important to you. But it's like the story of the Niagara Falls when the man who walked over the Niagara Falls and um, everyone cheered for him, he came back and he says, do you guys believe that I can put somebody on my, on my back and carry them over the Niagara Falls over a tight rope? And everybody said, yes, of course we do. And then he asked the second question. He said, do, we, do I have any volunteers? And all the hands went down. <laughs> because see, everyone believes mental asset if you say God I believe a heart faith it says God I will piggyback right on you over the tight rope of life's uncertainties that is the faith that will change your life the faith where you sit on the sidelines and say God exists yes I mean he has to exist we didn't come from monkeys Jesus, yes, He came 2,000 years ago. He's a good Jesus. All of that, but then you live like the devil. You live like just doing whatever you want to do. You're like, man, I believe in Jesus. I must go, to, I'm, I will go to heaven. Honestly, if that's all you have is in your head, then demons are going to heaven too. If the only faith we have is a mental agreement with historical facts and scientific proofs is in the existence of God, I have a news flash for you. There must be room for demons in heaven too. It's not this faith that saves you, heals you, delivers you. It's the faith that drops through your mind into your heart. Where in your heart you say, God, I don't just sit on the sidelines raising my hand and say, God, I know you can do it. But God, I throw myself over to you into your promises and I will trust in you. Demons don't trust in God. Demons don't yield their heart into his promises. Demons, they believe in God in their mind, but their heart, they're following the devil. And if in your heart you're following the devil or you're following your own sin, but in your mind you believe God exists and you think that's enough, or wearing a crucifix, I have a news flash for you. Your faith is dead and it's demonic. It's just not going to work. Honestly, it will be the same thing as not having it all. This faith has to drop into your heart. It's not enough. To have a mental agreement with the historical facts.